Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I wanted to do a different kind of oracle card guidance. I wanted to do one based on love. Now I know I haven't done one of these in a long long time and I just think it would be really interesting and a nice contrast against what we are facing in terms of the energy. So um, I thought about doing an energy forecast but I think I'll wait until the new moon because I'm quite loath to speak about what's going on right now and um, I think that it's a uh, not such a fantastic time as one may think it is and I, I'd i rather not do uh, I didn't want to do an oracle card reading in which um, yeah in which I'm going to be discussing those things or perhaps some of those themes that come up I wanted to focus on something a bit lighter because I think that if you are facing some of that uh, turmoil uh, in your personal life as is in the outside world right now then uh, the last thing you want to do is come back to an oracle card reading and then hear about it here so I want to focus on something a bit lighter and I think with love it's it's an interesting uh, time to talk about it because there are new opportunities for love and there's new shoots you know um, in terms of love like new shoots popping out through the ground it's like a really early springtime for love and uh, in the energy that is and so there's a chance that love could come into being for those of you who haven't got love uh, right now and um, it's it's possible like in the course of the year I would say in the course of the next 12 months is what I mean as opposed to the next month and so this reading is definitely um, timeless so you can come to it at any time and be able to access uh, access it ask your question and you can use it to ask whatever question you'd like but today what I'm going to be asking is what what does the love oracle cards tell us in terms of our love life as we go ahead and I'm asking it as a weekly oracle card so I'm asking it in in the immediate as well as the next couple of say the next two weeks so okay and uh today I, I was not uh, horribly inspired in terms of finding objects for you so uh, this is a key ring here it's option number one here's an elephant it's a magnet and this is um uh, yeah another little squishy thing so it's option one, two, and three. Go ahead, make your selection. And we are using the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, and we'll go directly to the reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, we are asking, what is it that, uh, what is in store for us in terms of our love lives as we go ahead in the next couple of weeks? What is in store for us in terms of love as we go ahead in the next couple of weeks? Okay, so the card um, that's come out is, is called Wedding, and it says the situation involves marriage. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pick out another card, because uh, when, when you look at it literally, well, I'm sure that not everyone that comes to this option is going to be getting married, and uh, or is headed towards a situation where there is going to be a marriage. I think, however, that one the way in which... Um, one reads this, one could find, when one channels the information through, one could find what exactly this card means and why it's come out for this particular option. But I feel also like I'd like to draw another card just in case. Okay, and so this card really wanted to come out and it's calling in your soulmate. Okay. So the two cards here that we have is wedding and the caption reads this situation involves marriage and then the second card here is called calling in your soulmate and it, the caption reads your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So I want to say here that for those of you who've come here and, ask, and are asking about love and are asking about uh, how it will develop and if one of your goals is commitment and one of your goals is a wedding or, or getting married or um, living with each other, um, coming into a more permanent type of partnership, then this uh, set of cards here tell me that this will come into being if you are using your power to draw this person to you. And this is nothing insidious. It's simply talking about 
clearing the space in your life for this person and by inviting this person to your life. So preparing your energy so that somebody could come into your life and be there to love you. And this cards, these cards tell me that it's very much dependent on that. It's very much dependent on how you, uh, how you think about your love because that will actually determine what kind of love you will have. So if you have a limited view of what love means, and if you have a limited view of what a lover could be, or what a person that you could spend your, you, who you could spend your rest of your life would, would be, what their behavior would be, or how they would be, then you are surely to manifest that. And so I feel here that, that this card here is talking about it's not talking about you necessarily getting married in the next two weeks. I think it's unlikely for 99.9% .9 of you. But I think what this card is saying is that now is the time to be able to plant the seeds to be able to draw love into your life if it is that you don't have love in your life or if you have love in your life but you'd like to have a different kind of love in your life. Perhaps you'd like to change the energy a bit. Perhaps you just want to bring the love to a new level or in terms in terms of it vibrationally as well as in terms of the, the commitment status of it. And so these cards here are talking about being able to do that by focusing on on what it is that you desire and focusing purely on, on that and not having any other agenda or not having anything else that is just going to distract you when you are trying to draw in that which you love in your life and so this is not just about a particular person this is about an energy so if you're going to be focusing on a one on one particular person and you're going to say okay well I want that person and I want that uh, kind of uh, energy I want I want that kind of love in my life and I want to spend the rest of my life with that person I feel that this energy doesn't work in that way in fact I don't think it really works for for anyone in that particular way. The way in which this energy works is that you basically think about a certain vibration of love that you want in your life and you draw that into your life and you feel that as you draw it into your life. That is how you draw it into your life, that you feel it, it resonates with you, you resonate with it and you draw it into your life in this particular way. So you might want to use descriptive words to uh, to basically understand what this vibration is that you're calling to your life. So I would suggest to you that you think about the how you feel when you're being loved by this person that you want to be loved by or what does love mean to you? How do you feel? What does it make you feel like? How does it make you react? How does it make you respond and and what does it bring out in you? What is the what does it bring out? Does it bring out the best in you? And if so, how would you describe that? So it's about being able to visualize yourself in a particular state of bliss or happiness when you are in love that will help you bring through this love uh, that, uh, that, that is meant for you. Now this, month, this love that's meant for you is not necessarily uh, going to be exactly what you, the, it's not gonna necessarily be the person that you're with. It's not necessarily going to be that, um, that you end off with the person that you want to be with. Rather, it's going to be that you focus on a particular energy vibration and that energy vibration is drawn to you. Now, this could actually be the person that you're with and they change to fit or to adjust to that energy vibration. Or it could be that somebody completely new comes into your life. Whatever it is, okay, I would say that these cards here speak of being able to successfully draw love into your life in exactly the way you imagined. And these are really positive cards um, in the way that it's come together. I would say also here that in order for you to be able to, to understand yourself in a relationship and to be in a healthy relationship, that you'd first need to be able to go inward and I would suggest that you use the time right now to be able to go inward and understand yourself better so that when you actually are in a relationship that you aren't thinking about being observed or about how you're viewed by the other, but rather that you are in full confidence as you are as a person to be able to stand your own ground and stand in your own strength and bring yourself together and bring yourself forward 
with all the power that you have and still be okay with that and not having to feel like you need to diminish any part of yourself or to be able to hide any part of yourself. So in a nutshell, if you are looking for your love, if you are in love and you're wanting to move forward or change the energy uh, in your love life, the, idea, the way in which to do this is to be able to clear the decks and use your prayers, affirmations and visualizations to help bring that state into being. And uh, now is, the great, is a great time to be able to do that. And these cards suggest that. It also suggests that you can actually have a permanent commitment that will come from this particular visualization that you have right now. So if you're single and you are wondering, oh, well, you know, I'm definitely not getting married. And uh, then I think that think about it in terms of, you know, calling in somebody that you'd like uh, to have in your life. Who, who do you dream of having and how do they fit into your life and how would they be a part of your life? How would they best manifest in your life? So I think that is what this time is for right now. I don't think it's a literal, this situation involves uh, marriage now. I think it's more like, you know, we, what we're doing is we're drawing somebody into our lives or we have somebody in our lives, but we are changing the energy so that uh, this can lead to a marriage of, of two minds, actually. All right, so that is my message for you for this week. And uh, I hope you're not disappointed that I haven't come through with a, with a normal oracle. And uh, But yeah, let me know if you are. And, uh, <laughs> and maybe I will do a general oracle card reading later in the week if there is a, a lot of people asking for it. Okay, lots of love to you all and have a great week ahead. Many, many blessings to you. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, this elephant, um, we are asking, what is it that we need to know in terms of our love life as we go along in this next couple of weeks? What is it that we need to know in terms of love as we move along? Okay, so the card we have is playfulness. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shuffle the cards and get another one out. Because I did so for the first reading as well, and I thought uh, that perhaps it would be nice to do that for this reading as well. So the cards we have here, for those of you who've chosen the option number two, are playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And we have the card Unrequited Love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. So here the concentration is on actually bringing your energy into a lighter space, into a more playful mode, into something that you are just able to enjoy, enjoy yourself right now. Because for, for, these, for, the, for this option, this is not really the time to be able to, to focus on love, I think, necessarily, or to be able to try to draw somebody into your life, or to be able to manifest love in your life. I would say that this this card here represents a blockage as far as that is concerned. It basically represents um, a series of cul-de-sacs. So it's like you, you're kind of thinking that uh, this could be love. Oh, you might find yourself attracted to somebody, um, but then it's, a, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. And that happens uh, repeatedly. So the energy here, what they're asking you to do is what they say, what I feel that they're saying here is that you need to actually just take a step back and focus on yourself and have a really great time to be able to have fun, right? Not just with yourself, but with those around you. And to be able to, as it says here, to recapture romance and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's about being able to, you know, dust off the cobwebs and basically get out there and have a good time if you can, even though all these lockdowns are continuing, at least where I am. And to be able to to so just uh, move with that, to be able to bring that energy to your life, to be able to remember what it's like to have fun and just to have joy and just to be lighthearted. And I think here to bypass any kind of heavy uh, uh, energy of love or to be to bypass any kind of love that requires commitment or that looks as if it requires commitment or not to bypass it necessarily, but to basically let it be. Let it be out there right now that it's time to be able to focus on yourself and to be able to bring your vibration to that of a childlike vibration in in the sense that you are able to look at the world anew and just be able to feel like 
it's fun to discover and it's fun to understand and th that there's a hunger, there's a passion to be able to simply have fun. And there's nothing here about love in its intensity. Okay, this is not intense energy. This is not about something that is, um, it's, it's pulling you down in any way or it's making you commit or it's earthing you in any way. This is an energy, it's like balloons, like helium balloons float, balloons floating up to the sky and it's like very quietly doors closing around you and the, the those doors closing around you kind of disappear and it feels to me that uh, that brings you more space it brings you more energy and brings you more relief in a way if there is a situation where you're thinking that this is something that this person and I could come together and we could be with each other in the long term and you're not in a relationship with each other, then it's unlikely that you are going to uh, be together. It's unlikely that you're going to come together and uh, be committed, at least not right now. The energy may say something different in a couple of weeks from now, but right now, that is what's not, that is not, that is not important. What is important is to be able to engage in that aspect of yourself, which is a happy, playful, um, person who's just enjoying life and being able to bring this lightness into your life and I feel over here that it's really important to to be able to work at that to be able to try hard in to do that because what you might not real, have realized is that for some of you that might have gone away for some of you that might have gotten um you you might it might have been lost for you and I think you know um if you come to this channel and if you listen to these messages, most of the time they're fairly intense, they're fairly serious and they're not really talking about playfulness or anything like that. You know, a lot of my Oracle card readings or my readings are basically about really going down deeper, really working on yourself as an individual and really being able to reach higher states of uh, spiritual development and I think here that this card is contrary to everything that is normally said at this channel and it's it's basically asking you to go out and have a good time and just really be able to let everything loose and, and just go out and be free and just enjoy because that is what's important right now it's almost as if I feel like this elephant here it's almost like a drunken elephant and um, it's you know it's raising its it's trumpet up in into the air and it's almost dancing. I feel like it's a dancing drunken elephant. And I feel like this, uh, I'm not advocating that you that you drink any alcohol or that you become drunk in any way or use any kind of um, mind altering drugs. Um, I'm certainly not uh, advising you to do anything like this, but this is the energy of it. It's like this sense of just being able to let all things loose and to be able to move forth and enjoy and whatever in terms of love whatever you've been thinking about is not that important right now so this could this doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be loved back by the other person this it just means it can be that of course it can be that but i feel right now it's telling you to focus on you on having a good time it's not even asking you to focus on yourself that much it's asking you just to go out and and just have a blast you know have a good time feel what it feels like to to just be free again and just to love life and just to enjoy life there's this feels to me like there's a sadness here uh there's a sadness here it's almost like like there's a like a death or a kind of um a wound like there's a chasm something like a sadness and I think that if you have experienced something like this in your life then this card is really asking you to be able to restore that part of you that you've had previously when you were still a, 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 not a child but a young adult so like a, t a late t uh, late in your teenage years or you know as an early adult what it was like to get out there and basically be able to feel what you felt at that moment and for many you know that you wouldn't necessarily have that experience uh, some people in their early adulthood might have experienced something that was that was devastating or depressing or or hard for them and this is not to say that everyone was having a blast in their early adulthood that's not what I'm trying to say but there's an innocence here 
that comes with this card. There's an innocence that needs to be restored. And I think that is actually what I'm trying to say. That is the message here that's coming across right now. It's to be able to go back to that innocence in a way. And no, it's not lost forever. It's still underneath everything inside of you. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for this week for you. I hope that you all have a wonderful week and that everything goes well for you as you go along. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy and many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we're asking, what is it that we can expect in terms of love? What is it that's going to happen in terms of love as we go along in the next couple of weeks? What can we expect in terms of love? And wow, we have a card that's flipped out. I'm going to go with that. It says flirt. Okay, um, I've chosen two cards for the other two options, so I'm going to do the same for this one as well. And let's just see what comes out. Okay, so option number two, the one that I shot before you, uh, was really about, um, you know, creating that lightheartedness in, 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 in you. And this option here is about having that lightheartedness already, being able to be in a state where you can actually go out and, and get to know other people and flirt and just be light about it, you know, not just going out there necessarily looking for something, but rather going out there and just having fun. Okay, and the, the second card here, so it says flirt and it, the caption reads, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And then the second card is attraction. You attract, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. If one had to look at these cards, it's almost like, okay, if you go out and flirt and, and, and be lighthearted with others and just be generally lighthearted, what you're going to do is that you're going to be able to attract love into your life and um, you're going to be able to do that by being present, completely present in that moment. So I think, you know, that really is a theme for everyone right now. And I think it's, it's so important uh, to just be present in a given moment. And I think it's been a theme for eons, to be honest. But right now it seems to come up again. And this card is also kind of, there's a mention of that. It's being able to go out and flirt and having your energy be light. And that is not a, a energy of being, you know, focused on one particular person or but or, or being in the moment but uh, it's a bit more being like being um light and feathery but i think here this attraction card it feels it, it has to me a sense of being focused on one particular person in a given moment and being present in that moment here is going to move this thing forward so if you do have someone in your life right now the advice is to go, to be with them and to actually have a lot of fun with them and when the moment requires it to be fully focused on them to be fully present with them and to simply enjoy the moment fully as it says and that's going to help you to um, attract more romantic love in your life or to be able to attract romantic love in your life for the first time perhaps uh, there is this other sense here that the love here is quite new and it's quite innocent. So if you are somebody who's looking at someone else and you know admiring somebody else, uh, there is a chance here that if you are going to be flirting with them, that there could be a time frame, a long time frame between which you and that person come together uh, because it feels to me like it's quite new or it, it feels to me like almost like it hasn't begun and it could just begun to sorry it could, can just begin and it will take a long time to develop and a detraction could develop at a later stage but that you are um it's going to require some kind of work not in terms of it being difficult but in terms of being fully with that person fully focused on that person at some point so the other uh, the other message um i'm hearing here is that it's important to take time out to just be uh, focused and present with yourself in order to be able to to temper that between uh, going out and being light and bubbly with others. So it's like this, this contrast, but it needs each other. It's like if you go out and you be bubbly and you, and you give up yourself, you really need to come back home and to be there for yourself. And just to be being there for yourself means being able to enjoy your time by yourself and just to be able to have a lot of fun by yourself. And I feel like that's going to temper it. That's going to actually 
bring it to a, a point where you are in balance, you know? Uh, whereas if you just go out and you embody this energy the whole time, then you are going to find that you could feel a little lightheaded or a little, um, well, not as grounded as you usually do as you go along. And, and so it's saying, you know, come back home and have a good have a good rest, you know, maybe take a bath, uh, a salt bath or something like that, or just do some, some things to ground yourself when you are out of bed. For those of you who are in long-term relationships and you're asking, well, what is this about really then? I would say that, you know, bring light-hearted energy into the relationship and uh, and this is going to help you to find, to feel more attracted to this person and to be able to understand a new um, a new aspect of this person, a new part of this person that you haven't yet discovered. And this is going to be something that's going to be, be quite interesting for you as you go along. And I think it will be quite fruitful as well. I feel like it's an abundant time for you. If you're in a relationship with somebody already, it's an abundant time for you and your partner. So you might, this is not related to love, but it might be that you are able to bring in extra funds this month or, or be able to make some new deals or be able to just have a, lots of abundance in your life right now. You know, there's, these cards are really contrasting because here you have this kind of sepia look here, you know, something nostalgic. And you have, here you have something really grounded and really, you know, in this moment. And I feel like um, if you are somebody who's really sentimental, if you are somebody who's really nostalgic and really spending too much of time in the past, then um, it's not a bad idea uh, also in your relationship to be able to bring you to the present moment and to be able to just feel a bit more grounded, feel more present in what's going on right now and look at the beauty in what's going on right now as opposed to looking back at the past and looking at how good it was oh, how, oh, and, and reminiscing. You know, it's more about looking at what you have right now and being able to enjoy that as well. So I'm just going to leave it there this week uh, with regard to this, these readings. I want to say thank you to all of you for coming by and I wish you all a fantastic week as you go along. I hope that these messages have resonated on some level and they have been helpful um, on some level. And I wish you all a very, very good week as you go along. Um, may you be healthy, happy and safe as you go along and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.